So you've been using these medicines for your overactive bladder. They're working great on your bladder, but you have this awful dry mouth or constipation. What's the deal? Hey guys, Doc Hepps here. So the question we're gonna talk about is, you're using these medicines for overactive bladder, such as Detrol, Vesicare, Ditropan, Oxybutynin, and they're working great, but you have these awful side effects like dry mouth, constipation, or you heard maybe there's some association with some cognitive decline, dementia. Well, I'll give you the scoop from a urologist perspective. I'll tell you what these medicines are all about, why they're working, why they're not, and what's the deal with these side effects. These medicines, Detrol, Vesicare, Ditropan, Oxybutynin, are designed to help with bladder overactivity. Bladder overactivity is defined by urinary urgency, also associated with frequency. You may or may not have leakage. What we think's happening with bladder overactivity is that the bladder fills, it reaches a threshold, it sends a signal to your brain, your brain says no, but for some reason the bladder goes anyhow. And it's really frustrating. And you compromise your quality of life, where you go, what you're doing, and you found that your dog puts you on these medicines and your overactivity has improved, but you have these side effects. Well, what's going on? What's happening are these medicines are called anticholinergics and they hit a receptor on the bladder that helps to relax and prevent the muscle of the bladder from contracting excessively, but there are also receptors throughout our body. Some of the receptors are on our salivary glands and also on our intestines. And what they do is they block those receptors as well. And what happens, you stop producing normal amounts of saliva, hence the dry mouth. Now, there's a whole bunch of these medicines, and oftentimes we'll try one or the other and to see which is causing you the least side effects. But in general, they all are quite similar. The other thing that they commonly cause are constipation. They hit receptors on the bowel that help decrease the normal so-called peristalsis or the normal movement of the bowel, and that leads to constipation. So in essence, these medicines work quite well for the bladder in terms of inhibiting excessive contraction for many people. But a lot of times a re limiting step is that just the dry mouth and the constipation is so bad that it's not worth the benefit of the bladder symptoms improvement. Now, there are newer medicines called beta-3 agonists, and there's two out there so far that have much less side effects. They hit a different receptor on the bladder and don't have the same dry mouth or constipation side effects. The problem is right now they're new and like all newer medicines, they're kind of expensive, but your urologist or your primary care may have some samples if you're having problems with the more traditional anticholinergics. So what about uh, this cognitive effect of the anticholinergics? specifically ditropan or oxybutynin. We oftentimes will use these medicines in older folks because as folks age, their bladder frequency, urgency, and incontinence become more of a problem. So what's the deal with the cognitive issue and these anticholinergics? Well, there have been studies that have looked at the cognitive effects of these medicines. And there was some association with a more accelerated cognitive decline in folks who had long-term anticholinergics, such as oxybutynin or ditropan, on their regimen. So there is some benefit to switching over to these newer agents if bladder overactivity is significant. Obviously, there are other things we can try, like Botox or other options such as sacral neuromodulation. But our goal as urologists is to try and minimize the use of these anticholinergics, potentially offer other newer medications that have less potential side effect risk profile and manage your bladder in different ways. 
Hopefully this video gave you some insight as to why you may be having these side effects while on these medications and potential options as alternatives. This is Dave Hepps. Thanks for watching Eurocoach. Subscribe to our channel. I appreciate your time. Thanks again.